Hi, thank you for coming to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about ImageJ or PG's Analyze option called Analyze Particles. For today's tutorial, I have actually created a very simple image where I do have a line of a 2 millimeter length and also I do have a square with the same length of the side. So it we actually kind of know pretty simply what is the area of the square and also what is the area of the circle. Uh, and for this tutorial, we are going to eventually use some weird shapes and we are going to kind of uh, um, measure the area of the weird shapes. But before, we should actually understand how image J kind of uh, calculates the area. And uh, to understand that, first you need to actually set the scale. So we can use the line that we have actually drawn as our... Uh, scale because we already know what's the line of the what's the length of the line so you go to the analyze you go to set scale and the distance in pixel I do know that the distance in pixel is actually 210 which will give us the best um, best estimation of the area uh, and it was actually based on the size of the of the image but the previous one it was not really that bad too it was showing 209 and the unit of length is to uh, I'm keeping it as millimeter and one thing I do want to do kind of share is uh, what's what does this global thing mean so if you actually keep the global global as an option in your set scale prompt what it will do is like it will retain all the scale information such as the per millimeter pixel size and it will it use the similar scale if you don't use it for the next images or the images that you are going to open in this session for this tutorial i am keeping this uh, global option actually on uh, because it will actually help us to not do the scale every time so you click OK. So now my scale is kind of set. So basically, let's go and actually duplicate this square as another image so that we can actually understand how it goes. And eventually, we are going to use the same uh, the whole image uh, in our tutorial. So first, let's duplicate the square with a new image. So now this is a another image which will actually retain the same scale uh, scale as this tutor, uh, this tutorial image uh, so now you will go to the image and then go to adjust and then you select the threshold so as you can see automatically it will try to select a certain threshold uh, based on the image but for now let's just understand that it, it it highlights the the black portion of the image in this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will go into a little bit deeper on how we can play with this threshold so now as you can see the the, the square is kind of selected then you click on the apply so now the threshold is kind of set now you go to the analyze and then you click analyze particles it will actually show you the size in millimeter square if you want you can also kind of turn on the pixel units um, in in your analyze i will go in more detail in the next tutorials what does the circularity circularity means and how can you play with it uh, for uh, for the output there are a couple of uh, options that you can play with for now let's keep it as outlines it will show you the outline of the area and there are some other uh, other options that you can also play with but for today's tutorial let's just keep what we do have as a default and then click OK so as you can see uh, now this the square that we had uh, it's actually kind of uh, showing as a white outline that we selected and the number of the area is number one and you will have two different prompts once you click the analyze particles and cl uh, click the ok one is the summary and one is the result the results is actually more of a like a breakdown of what uh, in the summary you will find so as you can see there since there are only one area you have 
the area and the area is 4 which is the 4 millimeter square which kind of makes sense because as you can see the line was 2 millimeter and the length and the width of the square was same so we do have the 2 by 2 which is the 4 millimeter square area so let's now close the results we are not going to save it for now and now for our tutorial purpose let's take both circle and square into the same image and then click create a duplicate image of both circle and square so now as as uh, earlier i described go to image go to adjust threshold automatically it will detect the threshold uh, for the first time and you can play with it let's do it in the next tutorial and you click apply so the threshold is kind of set you select the image you go to analyze and analyze particles and again with the same setup and everything you can just click ok and now as you can see since we do have two areas one is square and one is the circle you do have actually two areas the number one is the square which is showing the four millimeter square and the number two is actually the circle which is showing the area is 3.141 so it's showing up to the three digit post the uh, the dot and uh, as you can see the my uh, radius is one millimeter so the pi r square the surface area would be pi into one to the power square and it comes as 3.141 so as you can see those uh, easy normal um, si uh, shapes can actually provide you that hey uh, image j can nicely calculate the surface of the area surface area so now since you do, do have confidence over Fiji or image J now let's take complicated shapes and create a duplicate image with this with a name and then we do the same thing go to image adjust threshold automatically set up the threshold click apply threshold is set and then go to the analyze analyze particles and with the size to set as zero to infinity with the show as outlines click ok and here you go the results so now you do have the area of one two and three one two sorry one two and three and you can see the area as millimeter squared so the 0 0.597 0 0.550 0 and 0 0.616 i haven't really created these shapes with a certain uh, size in mind so uh, since from the previous uh, image we can see that yes uh, image you can pretty nicely calculate the surface area uh, with the known shapes i'm pretty sure like we can at least uh, rely on fiji with a complicated shape so for this tutorial i think that will be it this tutorial will be more for uh, building confidence over image j whether so that the image j we can use the image for more and more complex analysis and uh, i think that would be very helpful for everybody uh, as a as a beginner in fiji or in image j and we can actually kind of uh, do some very advanced stuff in, in next tutorials up until then thank you very much for watching the whole video and talk to you guys later please do subscribe to my channel and also look for the other fiji or image j tutorials videos thank you bye